<laughs> I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. I love that, actually. Salutations, viewers. My name is Game Dame, and welcome to What Never Was. I'm not sure what this game is. I saw it was a short game for me to play, and you guys know how much I love to play my short, simple games, because sometimes they can be so full of life and so creative and just really cool concepts that could potentially become full games, but obviously did not. Hey, Mom. Where are you? Hey. I'm somewhere. Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I hate it when people know, cancel that but last Mom, minute. Don't we owe it to Grandpa to Yeah, I know. It's just What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then I don't know. Oh, so is this like we emotional? Can come back tomorrow and do the rest. So it seems like grandfather yeah. passed away. Bye. I would have, okay, so maybe we're going to collect our stuff. Whoa! I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. All right. Let's do this. I don't know what the hell that sh she had in her fucking hand right there. Oh, it's pretty. It's cute. Oh, Grandma's cello. Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. <laughs> I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. I love that, actually. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. Crazy. Oh, you can see Grandpa in there. Because he was an old man. This must be from Grandma and Grandpa's wedding. Oh, they're so cute. It's Grandpa on one of his expeditions. What expedition Aww. did he do? It's a picture of us. Grandpa, you sweet old bastard. Oh, here's the take a closer look. Oh, Grandpa, you sweet old bastard. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, Grandpa's old travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. I should see if I can I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. A desk drawer. Oh god. I don't like I don't like that I can collect stuff. So my name is Sarah Elizabeth Wright. Oh, so this is a necklace. Interesting. Elston. Is that <laughs> what? Also sometimes known as troll stones. Uh, uh, the subject of Scandinavian folklore. Normal rocks with holes. In them, the size of an acorn were considered lucky, otherworldly, and useful. Hung from the necks of livestock, it would protect them and their farmers alike from malicious predators. Trolls and even incubi. In some tales, the owner of the true Elfsten is also able to see otherwise invisible common troll through the hole of the rock. While several of these were on display, only one of them looked to be the one I was looking for. Carved in a way that no average jeweler could or, and with, or in place where a hole should be. I didn't acquire it through the most honest of means, but no one came to harm, which is good. And I'm sure its disappearance won't be noticed. I do wonder how it fits into all of this, so I must study it thoroughly. Okay, so we got an elf stone that we must be careful with. Um, it seems no coincidence that both the resting place of PLA and Paracaca would happen to be in the mountains. The trek has gone well, and although the winds are ominous, my... My clothing and necessities have carried me so well, ha carried me well so far. The guy I hired upon arrival have proved invaluable not only to his knowledge of the thick forest, but also for his rich knowledge and his company. How nice. Not unexpectedly, uh, this symbol of water could be found at the peak of the summit along with the alchemic symbol of water. Again, these uh, symbols seem interconnected, and while one said our alchemic symbol alchemic symbols known to many people the others seem strange and have 
and of no cultural design that at least I am knowledgeable of. The encounter on Hawaii makes me certain that the other two elements must bear significance as well. What will I find in this mountain? You may find a uh, lot of stuff. Nah. The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. I like the music. I should see if I can find the missing pages before it gets locked. <laughs> it's locked. Oh, sorry about that, you guys. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's, 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 it's locked. Okay, not what we're looking for. Ah, uh, the old gramophone. Hello. Hello. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. So if anyone else is listening... Look at the cute music. Start off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means, well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up. Chin up, I love. Pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. I, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother, but there were good reasons. Oh yeah? There are things in this world greater than ourselves and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... <sighs> That you willingly went out to do? Shoulders, but now it, or that you had to bear? Know, uh, Pixie, I need your help. But I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. Oh shit, what am I about to see in this game? This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river. In every breath of wind and every dancing flame. All you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love Aww, you. Aw, what a much. heartfelt message. Goodbye, Grandpa. Damn, the adapter's missing. Probably. Look at all the these best. old games. Hey, Mr. Piggles. Oh, man. A, a station. I'm not taking this with me right now. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. It's a landscape painting Whittington. of Whittington. Oh. oh. Okay. These. Does this globe have anything to do with Grandpa's message? Ah, shoot. That doesn't seem to be it. Did I just brute force it? Yeah, I did it. Wait, I just brute force it. This looks like. Is this a second part of my necklace? I did not think I was gonna brute force that. Whoa. Oh, that's sick. I'm so. Oh, God, now I can look through it. Do I really wanna look through it? Yeah. Enough of that. I actually cannot believe I brute forced it. Whoa. Serious whoa. Oh shit. So the this right over here is a key. It's an old table lamp. Nah, -uh. these books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? Yo, I would take that shit in a fucking heartbeat if that was the biography of George Lucas. 
I finally landed on Hawaii and will soon begin my arduous climb of Mauna Loa. I'm not much of a climber, but I am filled with determination. I will, however, first take some days to recuperate from the very tiresome travel from which my fear of flights did not exactly improve. Not only was the pilot rude and dismissive of safety protocol, he also seemed completely unsure at times of what he was doing. Regardless, I am here and will spend the coming days in the village of Pahala. Whatever secrets PLA Goddess of Fire holds, it is now within my grasp. I have definitely reached the right place, although I am weary from travel and I am too excited to sleep. The villagers are friendly, but warn me of hurting customs, something I have no intent to do. I have also noticed the alchemic symbol of fire etched over people's doorways. It connects to PLA, of course, but it is linked to the crest I've sought as well. Oh. Yeah? Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. My grandfather's the key I have must there is no way I can pick this up. Is it this chest or is it like a locked is it for the locked shelves? It's locked. Huh. Oh, I have to figure out a combination. This box looks fairly old and has a combination lock on it. Ooh, we got another one, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. What's an open desk drawer? So we have a journal photograph. An old photograph found in Grandpa's desk it says Sultan Hassan, Mosque Madrasa, Egypt, 1966. Must have been one from his trips. And then the other one was journal page four. All I've worked for, it's here. I know it. The necklace in the temple in China made all the difference. And now I'm finally in Africa, hoping to set a, the burning sensation of curiosity to peace. The symbols line up and my calculations were correct. The anonymous mail I received helped on a grand scale, but I still have not managed to figure out the sender. Regardless, the last piece of knowledge should be here in Egypt. And after having evaded my guide, I have now found the symbols. It's time, time to learn what is behind these strange connections and events. Yo, I just hope some like shit doesn't fucking come after me with this cute ass music being here. This looks like one of the diary pages. Um, where's the fire one? Or was it the tree? Yeah. The alchemic symbol of earth combined with a Chinese one for tree. While a trip has yet again gone well and my research has once again led me to these symbols, I can draw no conclusion. I have spent most of my life researching these mythological mythological connections. Yet again, I reach my destination. And nothing, almost as if this is all an extremely elaborate prank. I sometimes wonder if my daughter is right. Months, nay, years of planning, only to eventually find a temple or shrine with another symbol, another riddle, and then another clue. However, at the same time, it feels like I am so close to finding Summit. It's locked. It's locked. Huh. So, let me see here. I think some of them were already in the right place. I'm not sure. Okay, so small key. Okay, look to fit a desk. Elfston. Let's try that. All right, that is not working. I 
I have no idea what this could be. I literally have no idea. Uh, there's got to be a clue in here somewhere. An open desk drawer. It's locked. Hmm. Could it be Sarah? It's locked. What could the combination be? Damn. I was sure that would be it. Maybe I need something else to solve this. Yeah, I thought that would be it too. It's locked. Oh, I see. Pixie. Wow. Ornamental key. Uh oh. Okay. All right, so it's stuck in place. Aren't these triangles in the journal pages? It won't budge. Yeah, so let's check what it is for the tree. Um, okay. I probably need to select a clock hand somehow. It won't budge. This clock hand is a triangle facing out. It won't budge. Did I not pick it? Yeah, it's the one that's facing down. Interesting. I I don't know what has the symbol for uh this one. Weren't these triangles in the journal pages? Yes. They very much were. It won't budge. What do you mean it's not budging? Oh, wait. Hey, well, I probably need to select the clock hand somehow. Is that it? Oh fuck, I didn't realize um, there was even more of them. Okay, so let's just get this straight. So fire, so the water is a up, open upside down. I probably need to select the clock hand somehow. And then it's stuck in place. No, it ain't, bitch. What do I have wrong here? Yeah, it's a f face word up. This one is water, an arrow facing up. Upwards, so it's kind of a little hard. Oh, 
Was we got it. Perfect. Did I do it? We did do it. We're going to get transported to another place. Whoa. 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 And she wants to What's sell happening? this clock. That was the first time I traveled by magic. Oh, that's sick. Pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner. So we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure. The one that never was. But that is a longer story. Oh. For another time. What a cute little game. Seriously, what a cute little game. Like, I really liked the story for this one. I actually wish it was at least another 10, 15 minutes longer, to be honest. Um, you could have... Wait, what's happening here? Oh, that's it. Yeah, honestly, I wish this game was, like, at least another 10 minutes longer. It kind of showed us what world we got transported to or something. Uh, maybe, like, one or two more puzzles, I think, would have been really nice, but cute game i don't know if this game was made under certain constraints but i actually really enjoyed it i think the graphics were nice for what it was i just wish it was a little bit longer i was really really enjoying it to be honest let me know in the comments down below what your guys favorite really short indie game is but that is all the time i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching i highly appreciate your time as always but please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my youtube but to my twitch you guys are my youtube is up you can find my twitch at twitch.tv slash the game dame Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.